Oh. Hello there. Hello. Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard, star of stage and screen. Cooper Howard. But I'm not here today to talk to you about my latest picture. Deep inside the fully livable model 96 JQ 1160. <laughs> Test subjects. Huh. Bro, all the clues are right here. For and what a beaut she is. And what a song she sings. Why is it so hollow? Is Vault 4's three foot thick lead casing. How, three foot thick? Bro, it's. It, it sounds like paper. Strong enough to keep out the rads and the reds. And the reds. Well, I may play a hero in the movies, but you all are heroes in real life. Yeah, not really. Pay, if you pay close attention to that entire engagement here, uh, I think you'll kind of realize instantly that they know something is going to happen, so they have chosen to go down there first. All right? And now you can be a hero too. Oh, yeah, it's really lovely to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you so much. Okay. Good to meet you. Well, actors. Mr. Howard, great work today. Ah, uh, thanks. It's not outselling them. It's not outsmarting them. It's destroying them. It's time. Time. Time is the ultimate weapon. Uh -huh. Time. <laughs> yeah. it sounds management. <laughs> well, I'm okay. awfully happy for you, Buck. <laughs> but, but Askins. So outlive them. Outlive your competition. That's how you destroy them. Time. Um, so the, obviously put all of, put everyone in the vault. Uh, you know, the world gets destroyed. And uh, what's left? Just the people in the vault. Um, they said something about management. Managing the what's left. What's gonna, But bro, the wasteland is literally trash. You know that, right? Well, they don't know that yet. But. <laughs> What's there to manage? Never cease to amaze me. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd throw a party at my house for anyone. I'm sorry. Like, you can't surprise me and say, you know what? Listen, we're going to go ahead and throw a party at my house tonight. Yeah, all right. The Reds are losing territory. More troops deployed to Far East. Capital Post. Uh, Wilson... Automatoys face lawsuit over Giddy Up Buttercup, <laughs> the horse toy. I, I Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever ready to serve. Bro, that's Codsworth, the <laughs> <laughs> from out, from uh, Fallout Four. That's the voice. That that's literally the voice. Is he the actor that voiced it? <laughs> the radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. I've even got your friend Charlie White Knife. Are you kidding me, Charlie? I mean, that's a that's a great statement because I do think that Hollywood currently is absolutely this. Charlie, mm. I my own voice saying hello, sir. Do you want to sit down? <laughs> it's awful. I thought the studio owned that character. They did, and then Robco bought the studio. I believe it. Me. The end of the world is a product. That's actually super valuable information, oddly. Um, a lot of these uh, musicians are going to end up having to uh, call themselves like a product, as in they will be selling their vocals to recording studios, AI, basically, um, to be creating all these hit songs consistently. A lot of music is going to end up being AI, and uh, a lot of painters are going to be doing the same thing, a lot of photographers, a lot of artists in general are going to have to kind of turn themselves into the product and then sell licenses uh, to themsel of themselves to other like entities. I believe that. Those of us who can succeed. The government. The government? The government? What government? Vault four. Not good. I was born on the surface. What? Oh. Why are you here? Uh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't know. You seem so normal. Normal? <laughs> yeah. My mother was a courier. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here in Vault 4. Oh, he is from Shady Sands. Yeah. You want to have sex? Say yes. Say yes right now. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that... Say yes. A weird thing. It gets all big and hard like a big pimple and then it pops. 
bro. And they say it could happen to anybody, but it's still, it's... You're a whole idiot. Test subjects. <laughs> oh no. What is this vault? How are they trying to trap you? This is a cult. cult? Same as any. It's not a I, yeah, okay. Listen, I would say all of vault culture is probably, yeah, cultish. Everyone's. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and. Bro. Bro, what is that? Um. Is there any, is there even any reference to this type of thing? Birdies available. And once again, welcome to Vault 4. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Nah, nah, we, listen, multiple explanations are needed here. Uh, please explain why you have one eye. Explain that. A no, a, a, two, what? Two noses. Wearing a glove? Guys, all right, so if there's a lot of oddities. Um, test subjects. They're testing something on the people, I'm guessing, yeah? yeah. And what would I do? You would uh, look pretty and help me raise chickens. <laughs> no. Is this like what all men want to do when they get to a certain age, bro? Because listen, I have spent my entire existence basically traveling and like living in like big cities, right? Then as I got to about, I don't know, bro, 30, 35 or so, I think, I don't know. Um, somewhere around there, I just was like, bro, listen, I don't wanna be around people anymore, all right? I just want a gigantic piece of land in the middle of nowhere where I can drive my Jeeps and I can do all types of off-road oriented things, right? UTVs, ATVs, just, you know, things that are roughly, I don't know, dirty, right? I've been clean my entire life, basically, right? I don't know, have like a farm, have some like animals. Like this sounds amazing to me. My wife is like, I don't wanna be dirty. <laughs> Man, please. Right? Like like do some like homestead living off the grid, solar power, don't dig dig our own well, have chickens, goats, you know? These type of things. I think this may be the dream of men, is it? Because I'm starting to see like a lot of things similar to, to what he's kind of stating here. Um, in a lot of like the people who I even grew up with. They're all like, bro, I want to get out of here. I want to live differently, right? Completely different. Or maybe, maybe a couple of years, I, this this actually could even coincide with when I started the channel um, and I started hearing like country music. Could country music itself have infected my mind to the point where I want to live in the country now, <laughs> right? Where everyone is peaceful and calm, right? I like that. It's a dream of mine. You would look very... It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. What'd she just say, bro? What's that supposed to mean? One of the good vaults. Please, let, let us know. The audience in the back would love to know what that means. I'm doing what I can. Nah, that's not enough. Wait a second. All right. One of the good vaults. So you know that they're planning to do absolute utter craziness in these vaults before people even go down there because they know that this was all pre-planned so which is the good vault the one where lucy came out of that's probably the best vault of all the vaults i've probably ever seen guys right but either way okay vault text devil man my wife works here you really think barb's a devil no. If she's working for them and, and that she actually knows, depending on the position that she's actually in, but the fact that she has a pit boy tells me that she may actually be in a pretty high position, specifically uh, before the vault actually, you know, gets filled with people. Um, yeah, she may actually be the devil. Seriously. 
Um, it, but it all depends on exactly how high up she actually is in vault Oh, no, okay. I... Like, if she's a secretary, then, yeah, she's just there. I like Barb, okay? Do you know what fiduciary responsibility By selling volts. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But they can't sell volts if these peace negotiations go through. So Volt Tech has a fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. Yeah, how are they going to do that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like cancer treatments. You remember that movie we did with Johnny Morton? Unless the people do something about it. I guess everything's a conspiracy, right? Uh, it's not much of one. You sound like you're a cult. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. Maybe you're the one in a cult. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Look, all I'm asking is who decided that there were no dogs in the bowl? Well, I think that is a relatively trivial concern. As I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Janie, aren't among them. She's a solid actress, guys. I have worked hard. It's believable. To make sure we go into a special vault for management where we will oversee all of the other vaults special vault for management bro what's that vault that all of the overseers have been coming out of is that the vault that they're talking about a special vault for management uh, if every single overseer tends to come from the same exact vault huh did the guy from the wait, 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 the guy with one eye? Did he also come from this vault? All right, I don't know. Summers, let me tell you, if you want to get elected, you have to respect their traditions and tolerate them and not call them surfies. It's awful. <laughs> what? Let me guess. Uh, a tradition from before his time uh, because they basically were breeding with each other and, and they bred with them each other so much they started creating cyclopses right <laughs> that's crazy all right so of course you start bringing in new new uh new dna right uh so this should this can't exist any longer right you don't take in surface dwellers in your vault well joke i told on maybe 10 occasions 10 what was the joke oh, i forget all i know is it was a huge bomb <laughs> that's Weird, not right? funny they're not going to oh, like that. Get it. Mm. They're not going to like Any that Any other joke. questions? <laughs> I do have one. Uh, what's on level 12? And why can't we go there? We don't talk about that. <laughs> You're kind of an idiot, bro. Kind of. Nothing wrong with a little bit of comfort. Four to eight. So during the kind of flashback we saw, 428429 uh, Sycamore Street, right? Um, we saw what was in 429. That's where they basically set up the entire set. The family was down, was sitting down. Um, we did not see unit 428 uh, on the inside. And when you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? Oh no, you got him. Oh no, it was 428, apologies. Yeah, so this was the exact one that we saw. Uh, 429 was on this side. Okay, so yeah, we didn't see the inside of 429. And this was uh, Sycamore Street, unless it's a different angle. Okay, welcome home, Birdie. And your friends. Okay. Caviar, cram, mixed nuts, oysters. No, bro. Listen, I'm sorry. Caviar is disgusting. It is. I've never liked it. I also don't like weird textures, so that's probably it. It's a textural thing. That generally is what makes me decide if things are nasty or not, right? Like onions, eel. A trolley. Like, how civilized was Shady Sands, guys? 
founded. New California Republic created. Capital of the NCR. Economic political power in California. The fall of Shady Sands. What, 90 years? Like, the reason why they're still in that vault is because they're waiting for a perfect time to come up and re-civilize the place. They didn't even know that there was an entire, uh, like, civilization up there. That's crazy. Bro, isn't this the, the, wait a second. The music that we're listening to right now is the, the waiting screen music of Fallout 4. That's what this is. The government. The government. <laughs> All right, so it looks like a super mutant is wanted by the government. A super mutant, most likely. This is the woman um, that came into the vault and took the father. Uh, I don't recognize the kid. That's the president of the government you're talking to. The president of the government. So if I wanted to let you go scot-free, folks might lose faith about what we're trying to do here. And then what? Yeah, but why, why would you have him on your wall and then still let him go? And I can't. Well, not no more, he don't. Unless uh -oh. he's a coward. <laughs> don't take the bait, son. <laughs> well, I ain't fishing. I'm just trying to game. Oh, look, look, look at where, look at where he shot that man. Oh, that's crazy. That is a super unique door. Wasn't there a BMW, um, maybe like a Z3 or, or Z4, maybe? Uh, that had a super crazy door similar to that? Well, not like that. It didn't go into the actual body, but that's super unique. But I think the, the door just folded just straight down, almost. Guys. Super unique. Um, but all right. Flame Mother. Mold, mold, molda Moldover? Moldaver? The Flame Mother. Are you praying to the Flame Mother? To a person that exists? This is the woman who came in and took Lucy's father. Are you praying to her? In a vault? Who is she? Mr. Howard? Guys, what is this? Huh? What is going on? Who is she? What is she? Probably a better question. Okay, I really do. I I know this must all seem really nice compared to the, the shoot show that's up there. Shoot show. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to go back in our D. All right. All right. Okay. So what is going on? What is actually going on? I guess we're about to find out now. Nothing crazy abnormal yet. 
Is that a face? That's a face. This is a woman giving birth to... Fish? And then the fish eat, eat her? <laughs> okay, <laughs> a little weird. Okay. A pregnant woman that's like alive. Cryotech, cryopod, dormant. Okay. Bro, there's somebody behind you. So the door was open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. Oh, no. All right. We'll have to find out. Because it's already super depraved. Specimen control. Oh, no. I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. Nah. I don't think so. <laughs> Guys, yeah, this is this is absolutely crazy. Um I'm I have no idea exactly how Moldaver existed pre war or pre bomb drop and then also after. Why are people praising her like she's some type of deity? That's confusing, right? Uh Coop obviously instant well the ghoul let's say recognizes moldaver from before she's he also sees a drawing of him of her on the wall you know at the government um that's also interesting so there's a lot going on here guys all right um this was a great episode this was like a um like a dump of information that's what this whole episode was basically uh, i have no idea what for what vault four actually is for i still don't know guys um, but it's absolutely odd that there are pregnant women deliver that are have that have the ability to deliver some type of fish, and then that fish, after being instantly delivered into water, then consumes the the mother uh, of of the of the fish. Like, do, uh, how does what do you do? Are you implanting fish into women's like wombs? <laughs> is that is that what you're doing? And then the freezing them. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird, bro. But it sounds like something vault Tech would do for some reason. What do you? What exactly are you trying to do? What exactly are you trying to do, bro? Either way, listen. Um. All right. So if you guys uh, do want to see the full length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. And you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.